Hello everyone, I'll show you how to create a glowing material effect in 3D Studio Max. The first part is how to create a material using a lens effect and the material itself we not know a lot. In the second part, I will show you how to make a mental ray material growing that will glow but will make a, an effect more more standard while the first uh, make an effect a lot more realistic but will make your scene looks pretty garbled so let's take up our 3D Cinemax first time we, uh, first thing we need to do is go on the rendering tab render setup and the common we will expand the assign render under production there's the default scan line render we need to change it to Metal Ray Render to need a more advanced rendering engine that uses bucket and, and ray tracing stuff like that well, start out with a box I'm gonna make it 100 centimeters square and pick up your material editor pick it up good red and assign it to the your box well till now the render is is a uh, pretty stupid well go under the fuse tab and pick up the glow loop this is a material coming with mental ray. Glow loom is a material that emits light. I'm gonna say 30 brightness and red light. If we render, we see that the light is sort of self illuminated, but it's uh, stupid effect, no, no one like that. Well, I'm gonna enable uh, the wireframe and the two sided for C2 the wireframe, and we're gonna make this effect on a view frame that looks a lot better. Okay, so we have our view frame here. Uh, the effect is not showing up, it's uh, pretty standard. You can lie about we can do a lot better going on rendering setup render tab scroll down till you see camera effect and under camera shaders you enable the output and you enable the lens lens will be enabled by default under lens we use the night bloom that will enhance, enhance any lighting in the scene and on the output we'll take out the glare gonna make a render F12 and you see that our object glows uh, formidably it's a really good, good effect we're gonna try to tweak it out Let's make an entity. It makes a very bright light that the lens blurs it like your eyes will do in real life. And this after is really fine too. We done that in a few minutes. Uh, you can make various cubes and see how it looks like uh, we're gonna copy the material we're gonna make it blue this time make sure you change the glow lighting and I'm gonna sign it to the second cube new view frame and get a render out Oh, this effect is really cool, do you think so? You can play a lot with this, making 
good scene, something like minimal wallpaper or something like that. I made by cell phone with a good screen loader. But let's check out a little features of this method. If we create a standard plane, we're gonna sign it up just a standard material as it is. The render it's a lot bright. It's not that that's it going to do because we have a filter called night that enhances any lighting coming into your scene. If we disable the lens on the night, we have the scene clear, but. Like uncomfortable here and the view frame it's still quite good but if you have standard shape you see that the uh, rendering progress you see that the shape is not properly glowing uh, meanwhile while having the lens on you see that the The object it's glowing. Well, if you will have a, a scene with a lot of uh, a lot of object, you can uh, check out another method here. Okay, here we are again. I'm going to look up uh, another scene just for let you see. Build this scene on Tango and wait a second. Well, the glowing effect here is not as, as good as the first one, but it's slightly different. It's a uh, really good this one, too. And we're gonna see how to do it. Let's restart our 3D Studio. Here we are again. 3D Studio is on up and running. As always, I'm gonna change the render to Metal Ray. And we're gonna make new material. This one was where we will be solid objects. We're gonna make a material click standard here and we're gonna change it to mental ray material. We have surface and shadow here with no. We're gonna bind it to a glow loop. effects can be a little tricky in some weeks. Uh, while we created a glow loop, I'm set at 12 for now by the brightness. I'm gonna drag it down into shadow and make an instance. So when we modify the first one, the second one will assume the things as the first one. I'm gonna make a plane under it. Then I'm gonna render. As you see, the object is glowing. Not a lot, but start glowing. That's because uh, metal ray material uh, can set the shadow of the material as custom. So his shadow is uh, light. don't make shadow but he makes light. As you see this is good for make solid neons and, and sort of dead. Uh, sorry with my with my screen recorded. Well 
we stopped here where we are the material glowing but uh, not glowing we need to go to rendering setup click render and as we do before enable the output and leave the def default top view output shader on glare so we have the object that is glowing this glow doesn't come up as the other one via lens effect but it's pretty same this come from shadows the first one is good for view frame this one for solid object the good thing of this one is that he makes shadows on the surfaces how you saw before but uh, this material cannot make view frame well for today it's all have a nice day please comment if you wanna ask something and Goodbye.